VR gaming sure is a blast, but some of its most iconic moments, like frantically swinging in Beat Saber or surviving a bullet ballet in Super Hot VR, are just too good not to share. That's where casting comes in. So when you're showing off your skills to friends on the couch, or streaming your gameplay to a larger screen for spectators, casting your Meta Quest 3 to a TV or PC transforms your solo VR session into a shared experience. Thankfully, casting on the Quest 3 is surprisingly simple, but it does require a bit of setup and some knowledge of what works best with what. This guide will walk you through everything you need to know, from setup to troubleshooting, so you can get the party started. If you're into VR tech tutorials like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because nothing brings people together like a perfectly timed virtual headshot on the big screen. Understanding the basics of Quest 3 casting Before jumping into the actual steps, let's clear up what casting actually means in the VR world. When you cast from your Meta Quest 3, you're essentially streaming what you see inside the headset to an external display, whether that's a TV or a PC monitor. This allows everyone else in the room, or on a stream, to follow along with your actions in real time. It doesn't affect your experience in the headset, but it does require solid Wi-Fi bandwidth, especially for high-motion games. Casting also isn't limited to built-in TVs or specific monitors. As long as your device supports Google Cast, or has a compatible browser for PC, you're good to go. Roku devices, many smart TVs, and streaming sticks like Chromecast can all work. Meta makes this process easy with the MetaQuest app, and all it really takes is ensuring your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. How to cast MetaQuest 3 to a TV Let's start with the most common use case, casting to your TV. This is perfect for showing off your VR skills during gatherings, parties, or family game nights. First, make sure your TV supports Google Cast, which many modern smart TVs do out of the box. If not, a Chromecast dongle can bridge that gap. More importantly, ensure that your TV, smartphone, with the MetaQuest app, and Quest 3 are all on the same Wi-Fi network. This is absolutely crucial. Devices on different SSIDs, like 2.4 GHz versus 5 GHz, won't see each other, so double-check that before getting started. Now, put on your Meta Quest 3 headset and enter your home environment. Press the Meta, Moebius button on your controllers to bring up the universal menu, then select Camera from the bottom toolbar. Inside the Camera section, choose Cast, and you'll see a list of available devices. Select your TV from the list. If everything is working smoothly, the TV screen should light up with your VR view within a few seconds. That's it. You're now broadcasting your gameplay to the big screen. To stop casting, just return to camera. Cast in the headset menu and select Stop Casting. It's that simple. If your TV doesn't appear on the list, don't panic. It's likely due to a network mismatch or compatibility issue. Go into your TV's network settings and confirm it's using the same SSID as your Quest and phone. If your home has both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, stick to 1, preferably 5 GHz for lower latency. How to cast MetaQuest 3 to a PC If you don't have a compatible TV, or if you're streaming content for Twitch, YouTube, or just recording gameplay, casting to a PC is a fantastic alternative. It also gives you a bit more control, like resizing the stream window or screen capturing without wires. Casting to a PC requires a bit of web browser magic. On your computer, open Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Those are the officially supported browsers for Meta's casting tech. Then go to oculus.com slash casting log into your Meta account on the site. This should match the account you're using on your Quest 3. Once logged in, leave the browser tab open. Now hop into your headset. Again, press the Meta, Moebius button to open the universal menu, then go to Camera Cast Computer. Your PC screen should instantly light up with your live VR gameplay. To stop casting, go back into camera, then cast, then stop casting on your Quest. Like TV casting, you'll need to make sure your Quest and PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Dual band routers can be tricky here, so confirm you're using the same network ID on both devices. For smoother performance, a strong Wi-Fi 6 network is ideal. Casting eats up bandwidth fast, especially in games with rapid movement or heavy visuals. Tips for smoother casting performance. Now that you've got the casting process down, let's make sure it's a smooth experience. Laggy video or constant stutters can ruin the fun, so here are a few tips to keep everything running silky smooth. First, ensure your Wi-Fi is fast and stable. Casting essentially means live streaming high-resolution video, and if your network can't keep up, everyone watching your screen is going to get a pixelated slideshow. If you're using 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, 
consider switching to 5 GHz or Wi-Fi 6 for better bandwidth and lower latency. Next, close other high bandwidth apps on your network. If someone else is watching Netflix in 4K or downloading game updates in the background, it could hog your bandwidth and degrade your casting quality. If you're on PC, use Ethernet for an even more stable connection. Even though the Quest 3 will still be wireless, having a wired PC connection can offload some of the network burden. Lastly, don't be afraid to adjust visual settings in your games. Some games have rendering options or performance modes that can make casting smoother without sacrificing too much visual fidelity. Common Issues and How to Fix Them Even though casting is usually a smooth experience, it doesn't always go perfectly. If your TV or PC isn't showing up, or casting just fails outright, here are a few quick fixes. If your TV isn't listed, check that it's powered on, supports Google Cast, and is using the same SSID as your Quest. Rebooting your TV and router can also help. If your PC isn't appearing at Oculus.com casting, try clearing your browser cache or switching between Chrome and Edge. Also, confirm that browser pop-ups are allowed and your meta account is logged in. If casting stutters or disconnects, try moving closer to your router or turning off other high bandwidth devices. Reducing interference, like microwaves or baby monitors, can also help, especially on crowded Wi-Fi channels. If you're getting audio but no video, try reloading the casting page on your browser or restarting the casting session from the Quest menu. Why casting makes VR more social, and why that's a big deal. MetaQuest 3 is one of the most advanced standalone VR headsets available, but no matter how good it is, VR can feel isolating if no one else can see what you're doing. Casting solves that. By putting your gameplay on a larger screen, you turn VR into a group activity, like having your friends cheer you on during Pistol Whip or letting someone guide you through a tricky puzzle in I Expect You to Die. It's especially powerful for streaming, where viewers get to follow along in real time, giving you the chance to share VR experiences with the world. Plus, it's just plain fun to see someone flail around in VR and know exactly what they're reacting to. It's like watching improv theater with lasers and lightsabers. Casting your MetaQuest 3 to a TV or PC unlocks a whole new level of social immersion. Thanks to the MetaQuest's built-in casting tools and a few quick setup steps, the process is now easier than ever, whether you're using a smart TV, Chromecast, or just a good old web browser. As VR becomes more accessible, casting ensures it's no longer a solitary experience. So don't keep the fun to yourself, invite others in. And if you found this guide helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because we've got more VR tips, tricks, and how-tos coming your way soon.